Hi, I'm Ian from Serber Janky Workshop, and today I'm going to be showing you how to put together the Windsor Bench. The Windsor Bench is a colonial inspired bench with a very sturdy build. This particular model has a black finish that's slightly distressed. And this bench is perfect for a busy entryway, hallway, or basically any room in your house. So the first step in assembling the Windsor Bench is to make sure you have all your parts and all your hardware. Your hardware are all these nuts and bolts and your parts are the larger main pieces of the bench. I already did a count and made sure I had the correct quantity of all the hardware here and all the parts, but I'm just going to do a quick run through and let you know how much of each part and hardware you should have. So to start off, I'll go through the hardware. You're supposed to have 18 flat washers, 18 spring washers, 10 short bolts, 4 medium bolts, 4 long bolts, 8 beret nuts, 6 large buttons, 1 allen key, and 2 small buttons. And for the parts, you're going to have a left and a right leg frame, two stretchers, which are these poles, one wooden seat, one chair back frame, and a left and a right armrest. And that's it for parts and hardware. Alright, to start off putting this thing together, for step one, you're going to actually replace step one with step two and combine step one into step three. So, for step one or step two, you're going to need six flat washers, six spring washers, and six short bolts. You're going to need the bench seat, the left and right leg frame. Alright, what we're going to do is we're going to set the leg frame with the legs angled outwards and you're going to align these three holes in the leg frame base up with the three holes on the side of the bench seat. And then you're going to grab a short bolt and put a spring washer on it and then a flat washer and then you're going to slide that through the hole make sure it's flush with the hole underneath it and then fasten it in with your allen key And once you have that fastened, you're going to repeat that with the remaining two holes in this leg. And then repeat that, those steps with the remaining leg. Okay, so after you've cleared the first step, which is step number two, your bench should look like this so far. And the next step you're going to do is actually step number one. And for step number one, you're just going to need two stretchers. And all step one is, is basically just putting these stretchers in place. And you're going to want to do it so the holes in the stretchers are facing upwards towards you. And all you're going to do is just place this inside these hole slots right here. And repeat that for the next one. And that's step number one. All right, so we kind of swapped step one and two around, but now we're back on track for step three. And for hardware, we're gonna need four medium bolts, four spring washers, four flat washers, and four beret nuts. And what we're gonna do for step three 
is we're going to grab one of the beret nuts and you're going to drop it inside the hole in the stretcher and make sure the hole in the beret nut is flush with the hole running through the stretcher and the leg frame. And what you're going to do is grab a medium bolt, slide a spring washer down it, and then a flat washer on top. And you're going to put that through the hole going through the leg frame and make sure it attaches with, with the beret nut and just fasten that in with your allen key. And once you feel that lock in place, you're just going to tighten it in and repeat that step with the remaining three holes. Okay, once you're done step three, this is what your bench should look like so far. And for step four, we're going to be attaching the bench back onto the seat. And to do that, you're going to want to turn the seat and the legs on their side like this. And for hardware for this step, we're going to need four short bolts, four spring washers, and four flat washers. And again, we're just going to fasten the bolt with the spring washer first and then slide a flat washer on top of that. And since it's kind of hard to locate the holes through the seat, you're going to want to put a bolt through the seat first and make sure it's poking out the other side. And then you're going to want to grab the back of the bench and make sure that the bolt lines right up with these holes underneath and you're just going to want to make sure you get one of them attached first it just makes things a lot more easier and then you're just going to fasten that in with your allen key And then you're going to repeat that with the remaining four holes. Alright, so once we've completed step four, your bench should look just like this. For step five, you're going to need four flat washers, four spring washers, four long bolts, and four beret nuts. You're also going to need your left and right armrest. And what we're going to do here is we're going to fat place the armrest in the slot here and you're going to want to make sure you have the right armrest and you'll know because the armrest will be angled slightly outwards of the chair and what we're going to do is we're going to grab one of the beret nuts and we're going to slide it through this hole right near the base of the seat and make sure that the hole is going to be flush with the hole running up through the bottom and then you're going to want to grab one of your long bolts and you're going to fasten a spring washer on there and then a flat washer. And then you're going to want to bring the bolt up underneath here and slide it into the beret nut. And you're just going to want to twist that and make sure it locks in place. And then just grab your Allen key and make sure it fastens in there tightly. Alright, once you get that in place, you're going to want to repeat that same step with the hole up, up here that connects to the back of the, of the bench. So we're going to grab another long bolt, fasten a spring washer on, and then a flat washer on top. Take the beret nut, and you're going to want to put your beret nut up through the seat. 
And then we're going to take the long bolt, slide it through the hole, make sure it connects again with the beret nut, and just fasten it in so it's nice and tight. And once you get that locked in there, you're going to repeat the same step with your other arm. Alright, for the sixth and final step, you're going to need your six big buttons and your two small buttons. And all we're going to be doing is covering up these bolt holes with the buttons and do it just like that just push it in there and you're going to repeat that step for the remaining seven holes